Remember what Paul said when he was talking about how in the synagogue in his day, the word of God was read, but the word of God was not understood because a veil remained over the eyes, so to speak, of the, or rather a veil remained over the scripture when it was read that um, meant it was not possible for the Pharisees who were reading it to interpret it and understand it. What they were missing was the Holy Spirit within them. Now, we've been given an assurance by God that if we come to him and we ask uh, for him to illuminate us, if we have the Holy Spirit dwelling within us, he will give us light and understanding that we might understand the word. Now, in some scriptures, it's difficult to find the meaning of the word. Uh, to find Christ in some passages in the Old Testament requires sometimes a lot of searching. But, uh, you know, with his help, we'll find it. But in these passages, we find Christ immediately before us as he is being buried. But nonetheless, we should go to the Lord and ask for his uh, help in dividing the word aright and applying it in our own lives. Please join me. Oh, sovereign Lord, we thank you so much that you have given us your word and that you have given your spirit to help us to understand it. I pray now, Lord, that you would help me to open up this word. It is familiar. I, I don't doubt to everybody here. We all know the story of the burial of Christ following his crucifixion. But Lord, do we truly know the import of it and its importance? Do we understand why it was he had to be buried and remain in the grave for time? But Lord, more importantly, do we remember why he had to rise again for our justification?